Hello everyone and welcome back to Gizmo Rush. In today's video, I want to discuss something with you that has been on my mind for a while now. It's the limitations of a MacBook and why I decided to switch back to Windows. Don't get me wrong, I have been a Mac user for about a year and I love many things about it. But there are some significant drawbacks that led me to switch back from Mac OS to Windows. So without wasting any time, let's get right to it. MacBook laptops have limited software compatibility. Of course, Mac OS software offers better performance, but at the same time they are expensive to use. In some cases, Mac OS based software services may charge you almost double the money than the Windows OS software. Moreover, Mac OS has limited free or open source software and online tools which you can get plenty of on the Windows laptops. As Apple offers top notch and compact hardware for all of its devices, MacBook laptops are no exception. MacBook laptops are highly portable and lightweight with sleek design. However, in the pursuit of making thinner laptops, Apple removed the Ethernet port and replaced the Type A USB 3.0 ports with the Type C ports. The limited port selection on MacBooks, especially the newer models with just the USB C, can be quite frustrating. Yes, dongles are an option. But constantly carrying and managing multiple adapters isn't ideal. Also, in 2015, Apple removed the glowing logo from the back of the MacBook for the sleek design and portability. You can watch our detailed video on it by tapping on the i button. Moreover, upgradability is almost non existent with MacBook laptops. If you want to upgrade your storage or RAM, then you're out of luck. With many Windows laptops, you have the flexibility to upgrade these components, extending the lifespan and performance of your device. The only thing for the storage expansion was either to get an external SSD or subscribe to iCloud storage. It seems Apple's scheme to regularly pull out money from your wallet. Another major factor is the price and overall value. MacBooks are undeniably expensive and while you do get a premium product, the cost can be hard to justify especially when compared to similarly priced or even cheaper window alternatives that offer better specs. Additionally, the MacBook has higher operating cost compared to the Windows, as you need to regularly pay subscriptions for various Apple and third-party services, whereas you can get similar services on your window laptop at cheaper prices. Talking about the value factor, the performance of the MacBook laptops does not fade even after years of continuous usage. However, it's not the same with Windows laptops, as you may feel the lack of processing smoothness after 2-3 years of usage. MacBook's repair cost is also one of the major concerns that forced me to start using Windows laptop again. Its repair cost is huge and it can only be fixed by Apple's authorized service center, whether your laptop is under warranty or not. Sending your MacBook to a third-party service center is also a nightmare for you. However, Windows laptops are pretty much easy to repair and they don't cost much. If you enjoyed this video so far, then please give it a like and hit the bell icon to get notified about our latest content. Customization is also a key point. Windows offer far more customization options both in terms of hardware and software. You can tweak and personalize your system to a much greater extent than the Mac OS. Mac OS is specifically designed for the professional use. Though you can get a seamless gameplay through the MacBook laptops, but you will not get as many game titles as Windows. That's why Windows is a clear winner for gamers. The vast majority of games are developed with Windows in mind, and the performance is typically better due to a broader hardware compatibility and optimization. Mac OS is a closed operating system and it can only interact with Apple devices. Moreover, connecting your Android phone to your MacBook is another hurdle and it needs paid apps or online tools for data transfer. But if you're surrounded by iOS devices, then it works like magic. You can effortlessly share data via Apple devices. However, Windows laptops or PCs are known for their flexibility and can easily work with any operating system, whether it is Android, Linux or iOS itself. Overall, if your first laptop is a MacBook and money is not an issue for you, then you may be fine with using it. It has super fast processing speed, great portability, interacts wonderfully with Apple products and has better resale value. However, if your first interaction was with Windows and you are new to macOS, then you may find it difficult to cope with. 
In the end, my switch back to Windows was driven by the need of a greater software compatibility and better hardware options, and the ability to customize and upgrade my system. While MacBooks have their strengths, Windows aligns better with my needs. And that's it for today's video. If you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Gizmodash for more tech-related content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.